The last lifts right there, barely about to go under the water. The dock over here, this is the boating dock. As you can see, it's completely, oh, let me zoom into this joint, man. It's completely in front of it underwater. Underwater. This is actually a driveway, dude. The, the docks, the, the boating docks you back your boat down into, you see right there? Those are the parking spots. No, I'm sorry. Those are the stripes. So there's a boating dock right here that doesn't start for probably another five feet right there. And there's another one right here, right here, that doesn't start for another probably five or 10 feet there. I mean, there's the, the line to back it into right there. I mean, guys, this is a driveway. Look, right here, you come down this way, you drive around here to the other side. You can't even do that. Last night, this was not here last night, guys. Last night, this driveway was still here. Some of the water was still there, but you could walk and drive past it, no problem. You can't do that this morning. Craziness, man. We had rain for three days, constant three days. Look at this, yo. The dock is underwater. It's underwater. It's buckling up there, yo. Oklahoma, baby. End of November. It's Monday. Ha! Let's get a new week, baby. Whoo! About to be fishing season, baby. What's going on, guys? So it's about 6:30. And I apologize for not vlogging much today, but my phone died on me. And I pretty much just didn't have a way, I didn't bring my cable to charge it, so I couldn't take any footage of me today while I was at work. But I am home, and I'm taking care of some chores. Chores, you say, Camo? What chores are you taking care of? Well, the very first one, oops, you know what? I better go ahead and put this one in here. The very first one that I have to take care of is to wash clothes. I said, okay, Camo, shouldn't you be in the laundromat? No, I shouldn't. I'm actually washing my clothes in the camper using the system that I will be putting out a video series about how to do. I'm working out the exacts, basics about everything. So there's a lot of stuff to work out in it. But essentially, it's an eight minute wash cycle, an eight minute rinse cycle, and then you dry. But mine's gonna be just a little bit more complicated than that. <laughs> now I don't know exactly when this series is gonna come out, guys, because I still have a lot of stuff to put together for it. So, I will definitely, definitely be putting that out. But, how was your weekend, Camo? How was your Sunday? Sunday was good. Went to church Sunday morning with Pong Granny, and I was able to bring my neighbor with me. She came to church with us. She came to Sunday school, adult Sunday school, and then she went to service. She had a good time. I then went to work for five hours. No, for, yeah, Sunday, so five hours on Sunday. And then I got off and I had spoken to my neighbor 
my neighbor who's who may be watching my YouTube videos now. Hey, <laughs> she wanted to go to the evening service too, but had some other plans that she couldn't go. Cool, no worries. So we ended up going to church with Poor and Granny. I met them there because they usually service Sunday school. So uh, well, uh, they call it adult something. It's kind of like adult Sunday school again, but a different book. And I couldn't usually start at six, and I couldn't be there at six because I didn't get off until six. I had to come home, had to walk ace, and then I had to head on to church. Got there, had church. It's beautiful. I was asked to say the prayer to release everybody. Felt kind of special. Hope I did good. Nobody threw rocks at me when I got outside the church. <laughs> So that must have did okay. But Sunday was really good, guys. It was really good. And today at work was pretty good too, so not bad. And this is actually a lot easier when I'm talking to somebody or have something to do other than concentrate on actually doing this motion. Other than that, guys, it's a great day. Today was my last day of the week. I got the next two days off. So I think what I'm going to do in the morning is get up early and I'm going to go fishing because I just text my buddy Bob to let him know that the baptism, oh that's the other thing too I got to talk to you guys about. My baptism will be next Sunday. The laces I've already taken for a walk, he's happy because he pretty much is dry now. But Acer's kind of upset me earlier today. I wasn't too upset. Because it was my fault again, obviously. But went to put his kennel on, his uh, harness on this morning. And as you see here, that's been chewed off. Guess who chewed it off? And it wasn't Camo. I was hungry this morning, but I wasn't that daggum hungry. He actually chewed it off. Uh, I had his harness on him and I took it off. And I wasn't thinking. And I left the harness in his kennel. Well, Ace, Ace gets a little upset sometimes when y'all leave him. And I had to leave him to go to church or to dinner. I forget which day that was. But he gets a little upset sometimes and bored. And then he starts chewing up stuff. So he chewed up his harness. So this morning when I went to go put him in the harness, I couldn't because his harness was broken. Now I could probably fashion something on there. To connect it probably put another clip on there as a matter of fact let's take a look here I can probably put I can make it work you know what I'm gonna make it work you know fashion something else on there and I'll repair that that way I won't have to buy it because I can't buy anything else until my paycheck comes until my paycheck comes and You know, I have to be very careful about how I do stuff like that, so.